you know one valuable lesson that I learned when I was between my 20s and my 30s was uh, that when people catch on to your scam whatever you're running you change your game you change your targets and there seems to be a lot of these people coming into our community now they're coming out of the woodworks and they're targeting our people they come as all-knowing you know they have that representation of a guru oh you know peace and peace and love brother you know yay I am the way that kind of shit uh, they these people once you really really start paying attention to what they're doing it's all a deception these people are people that are rel they are constantly relapsing back into drugs there are alcoholics there are schizophrenic narcissistic uh, egotistical individuals they're driven by something because everybody has an agenda but these guys agendas though is to take advantage of our people and there's a lot of younger uh, younger people I noticed that are waking up they're trying to find their identities and they run into these people and these people what they tell them is you know what follow me whether it's Instagram Facebook snapchat whichever you're into that's their main thing though follow me and then every day they have a lesson every day they have something that they want to teach you they have phrases that basically only they want to use I mean I know I have some myself but if you read minds and if you know minds and if you heard minds then you know that there's nothing egotistical in mine and that's one thing that I really try to avoid because I already had my moment with my egotistical self and I learned a lot from that and that's someone that I don't wanna go back to being but these guys they haven't learned nothing everything that they went through you know they they always try to use that to lure in people I did time I did had this how many years in jail I spent my whole life in my youth I was born to be a leader ever since I was young I, everybody saw me as the leader of the group they always have something like that to say and it's it's uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to distinguish because especially for the younger crowd because I know because when I was barely getting into the whole movement myself I fell victim to one of these leaders and I don't want to go back to that I know what they're selling and I know it's expired and I'm warning everybody of its expiration date you know that's my whole thing that's my purpose but these guys though they want to take advantage of our people I don't want to see this happening remember not one single person holds the answers it takes a whole community it takes a whole village to fight in against an army that's what it you know that's what it all boils down to and what these guys do is that they start teaching that and then they reject certain individuals and what do these people do though they say you know what forget this they give up on trying to learn their identities they give up on basically on trying to get back in tune with uh, their culture they rather go back to colonialism because remember one thing about us is ignorance is bliss and that's what we're doing when 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 we're living in colonialism you know with that with that state of mind I mean not in it because we are especially me I live in downtown basically but getting back to the point these guys don't believe me they expose themselves the last guy that I dealt with he blames me for everything now he gets suspended on Facebook he blames me he runs out of toilet paper at his house he blames me they 
forget to add salt to his food. He blames me. He runs out of toothpaste. He blames me. <laughs> you get the message? It's and then this is funny, but I seen my name, them using my name, and I just find it funny. Cause really, I made my point with you. You are not a leader. What you are is faulty. And well, he still has his minions running around and it's funny. They think I you know, you don't hear about it or that eventually you see a screenshot, but you do. And well, to each their own, if that's the way they wanna be, then go ahead. You know, as far as me, I made my point with you. I wasted enough time with you. Stop blaming me for your own faults. Stop blaming me for the drug effects. Because that's what it is. It's an effect of the relapse that you're having. So just watch out people, especially if you're just waking up. Remember, remember that. Don't just follow. Even if you do, just know that everything has a certain expiration date. So know when to walk away. I myself have that thing where I keep on saying it. And that's that. Don't make my footprints deeper. Walk your own path. Leave your own tracks. Because only that way will be, well, we be able to get all of this land back eventually. Amasun Papa Shuban, our past, our land, our bloodline, our future.